Today, we will take a look on some of the AWS servers to manage a Lambda Java project and test it locally. We will use AWS CodeStars template to create a Lambda Java project. AWS CodeStar use code pipeline to connect with code commit, code build, code formation, and code watch to manage a code development cycle from source to deployment. We will install AWS Toolkit plugin on Eclipse IDE and configure AWS SAM local to test the code on Eclipse IDE. Download the Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. If you don't have a Java 8 SDK installed on your local, go to Oracle to download the Java 8. To install AWS Toolkit on Eclipse, either go to Install New Software or Eclipse Marketplace. Input AWS Toolkit location. Select the uh, component you want to install on the Eclipse. Select all of them. You can skip optional. You will ask access key ID and secret access key. So go to your user and under security credential, you will see the access key ID. If you didn't download that CSV file, you can have a chance to recreate a new access key ID and deactivate the previous one. In my case, I already have that CSV, so this is just a demo how to do that. Now go back to the Eclipse, enter your access key and ID. You will see all the AWS toolkit is installed. You can also see the uh, AWS toolkit on the top. There's item AWS. So you can see everything listed over there, such as you review them or go to the preference. To create a AWS project, go to the file new, then go, go to the under AWS and select, uh, for example, Lambda Java project. So this is the way how do you create a um, new AWS Lambda project. In this step, we follow the instruction to install Docker. Use the pip to install AWS SAM CLI. On the CodeStar dashboard, there are various project templates such as websites, web applications, web service to select. There is no charge to use CodeStar, but associated tools such as Code Pipeline, Code Commit, and Code Build will have free tier and access charge. The details of the cost in my blog. Let's select a Java Spring template. Enter the project name. Now you can select AWS code commit for your source repository. Now let's take a look on the AWS code commit. So you can see the pricing on this one. You get a free for the first five active user. Go to next. On this diagram, you can see the project details from source to build to test to deploy. Then you can also monitor the project. So, so the AWS star code star using the AWS code pipeline connect with all the tools. In this page, you select Eclipse. 
we will test this project on the Eclipse, so we select Eclipse. This is the, the instruction to start code of AWS CodeStar project on Eclipse. Let's import a CodeStar project to Eclipse. Select the region you create your uh, CodeStar project. Select the project name. You need to enter the Git credential, username and password. If you click the link, you will go to the code commit dashboard. And on the dashboard, go to the setup access to AWS code commit. And in here, you can generate the Git credential. Download the credential CSV file. Now import a CSV file, then follow the screen instruction to import the project into the Eclipse. Now let's set up a SAML local. Go to the SAML local configuration. Enter the project's name. Or you can select a project from the Browse button. Enter the template name, or you can go to the Browse. Then select the project. Then select the template. Now you can run this as lambda function or API gateway. Select a function identify. For the event, we will generate new event. So we'll generate as S3 event. Select a bucket. I already have a bucket there, so if you don't have bucket, you need to create a bucket. Now enter the GSAnswer file name. Now this is all set up, you can apply, then you are ready to do test, debug, and coding. One more thing, make sure you configure the correct SAM runtime directory.